We're the authors of a book called The Spirit Level, Why Greater Equality Makes Society Stronger. I'm Richard Wilkinson. I'm Emeritus Professor of uh, Social Epidemiology at the University of Nottingham. I'm Kate Pickett. I'm a Professor of Epidemiology at the University of York. What we've done is show data for health and lots of uh, social problems, you know, like violence and drug abuse and so on. And we found that they are all much more common in societies that have bigger income differences between rich and poor. Not only that, we find that greater equality benefits the vast majority of the population and that although the benefits of greater equality are largest among the poor, they do extend all the way up to society. Yes, and, that's, and that goes with the fact that these differences in how more and less equal societies do are huge. I mean, huge differences in uh, homicide rates or levels of teenage birth or obesity rates or the rates of mental illness. Much too big to be explained simply by what's happening to the poor alone. This is a matter for all of us. Increases in material standards are very important when uh, people have lack the basic necessities. But for us in the rich countries, having more and more of everything makes less and less difference. And you can look at these measures of uh, happiness, uh, life expectancy and well-being, and they no longer uh, relate to economic growth in the rich countries. So in a sense, we are the, the first generation to have got to the end of what economic growth can do for us. And we now have to think, where do we turn to, to get further improvements in the real quality of our lives? And I think what our work shows is that we have to turn to improving the real quality of social relations in our society, which uh, means most of these social problems diminish, but we do that by reducing the scale of income differences between us. You can find much more about all of this at our website, the Equality Trust's website. It's www.equalitytrust.org.uk. You'd be very welcome there. If you come to the site, you'll find lots of resources that you can download and ways that you can take action yourselves to work for greater equality. I suppose the take-home message of the book is that all these problems that we know are more common in the poorest areas of society uh, that are related to social status, they all get worse if you widen the social status differences, and they get worse for all of us. And we need now to stop thinking of the quality of our lives as dependent on further material accumulation, um, on consumerism and so on, and think instead about improving the quality of the social environment, but to recognise that we should do that by reducing the scale of the income differences between us.